Hello. How are you? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know when. Last week, Nicole Davis, um, if you don't know her, where have you been? She's awesome. She tagged me in a, the 80s look tag. How I did my makeup in the 80s. Um, I'm going to do that. I lived through the 80s. I graduated in 1985. <sighs> there are some things that should die. And that is 85. Hair and makeup. Okay. I've already cleansed my face. I used my cellar water dipped in cotton uh, pads. Um, I sprayed my face with rose water. These are things I did not do in the 80s. But since I'm old, I'm doing them now. Derma E uh, Vitamin C Serum. Number 7's Day Cream. With SPF. No, no. Um, eye cream. Revitola, because, you know, I need that. And, uh, I put, also put on Smashbox's primer. This was the last of it. Um, and it was pretty much weird. It, like, this filaments all over my face. I think it, it might have had a adverse reaction to my either the number seven or maybe even the derma e it, because it they formed things like you were using a peter thomas roth product a gel peel and all your skin comes off it looks like that stuff but we know that's fake okay i'm going to put my um uh, no i'm not because in the 80s, we didn't put our foundation on and then put our concealer. We concealed anything that we wanted to. Did I not turn on the light? Yeah, it's on. We concealed before. What the? Uh, my, uh mascara so we're going to do that first and i have a little problem right there and i have a problem there i think that's it i did that first and then we tapped it in but not too much because we wanted to cover up the red. Okay. I don't mean to give anybody a certain finger, but that's the finger I use. No offense. Okay. Then we would go with the foundation. This is CoverGirl and Olay's foundation. I'm almost done with it. I'm very happy. And back then, I think those triangle sponges were just beginning to come in the fashion where people put on their uh, foundation with those. And, well, back then I didn't have any money, so I didn't use them. And, you know what? I still don't. I don't use uh blenders or anything like that i've always just used my fingers oh hold on i keep forgetting about this i hope everybody's uh memorial day is going good idiots in the ozarts did not social distance. They went into bars and clubs. Uh, packed. And uh, 
now I bet we're going to have a second wave of Corona. In the summer, I would do this too, by the way. We didn't have air conditioning. <laughs> Da, 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 da. What do I do next? Okay, back then, I would put on my blush first. But, people were using bronzers to hollow out their cheeks. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to do that. I need to clean my brushes. I've needed to clean these for about six weeks, but I've only done my makeup like three times in the last, well, yeah, about six weeks. Okay. And when you put on your bronzer into the hollows of your cheeks, you did this. To try and make everything else look hollow. But with these cheeks, you really can't do it. Okay. And then you had a real bright uh, blush. There was no highlighter. You just wore a real high or a real bright blush. Now, let's use this one. Da da. Oh, sorry. That one. Did you see how dirty everything is? I need to clean. But, uh, I'm filming this on Memorial Day. Oh, yeah. Nice and bright. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. What do you think? Okay. Put that away. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Um... We're going to go with the green palette because everything was bright back then. Is that dense enough? Okay. I got this palette at the Dollar Tree. I was going to do that um, St. Patrick's Day thing with Fat Fit Mama. She did that. She collabed with a bunch of people. But I ended up having to work. So I never even did it. But yeah, you went way out. Is that? I think that's a shadow from the hair. Yeah, it is. Okay. 
And you didn't use a lot of different uh, shades on your uh, lids. But I'm going to. Because I never put on an eyeshadow. Um, my hair was down past my butt in high school throughout my childhood. My mom would get mad at me and cut it off, and then I would look, grow it out again, then she'd get mad, and I'd grow it out again. But in high school, it stayed pretty long. Not because she wasn't mad at me, but because I avoided, <laughs> you know. Okay, well, I don't don't need you I'm trying to think okay don't this is um uh, to make my eyelashes longer i love this stuff i actually bought a whole a full size yeah i'm going to do a video of a sample made me do it because i have bought things after using samples because I enjoy them. I think this is out. No, it's not. But I hope everybody's having a good like, uh, Memorial Day. I don't think the gym I work at is going to open up until August. That's when my boss comes back. And, uh, you know, I thought it might open up sooner. But they've taken all the Perel wipes that we have in the gym. So people can wipe up the machine, wipe the machinery off after then done after they're done using it, or even before they're using it. And we're out, and they've been on order since before lo the lockdown. So we cannot open up without those. Part of my job is watching cameras, and I won't be able to watch cameras if I'm always in the gym. I won't be able to stop people from sneaking people in if I'm always in the gym. I'm just going to let that dry for a second. Where'd it go? Oh, it fell on the floor. I'm not going to go get it. I'm going to use the CoverGirl. CoverGirl would be something I would use in a high school. Actually, I think I used Wet n Wild. I think that was within my budget. Okay. I got that on. This is what I pulled. Not this week, but in last week's Sample Saturday. 
This is a very wet eyeliner. It's CoverGirl? I think it's CoverGirl. Yeah. Black eyeliner. It's very wet. And I need to use the camera. Sorry, guys. Um, no. The double chin's going to show big time. Okay. Look. It's very, um, liquidy, which is probably something I would have used in high school, <laughs> but for the sake of not looking horrible. You did that. You did a heavy lining of the upper lid. Wow. I can't believe I did that. Um, and then by lunchtime, you would run to the bathroom and check your eyes. And more than likely, you had raccoon eyes. I was watching Kimmy's Kitchen, and she made barbecue chicken breast, and we're doing that on Monday morning, which is tomorrow. I don't know when I'm putting this out, but uh, she got me excited for it. She did like a loose meat with it. We're not doing that. We're going to have chicken breast. <laughs> Hey, check out those eyes. Okay, I gotta get a, a Q-tip. Give me a second, okay? Okay. When I was a kid, I would use a Q-tip and water. So that's what we're doing. That's what we redo. Okay. Then, we just used powder and set it all afterwards. And what I used back then was my mom's air spun. I'm pretty sure I would come downstairs and her, her bedroom was downstairs. Mine was up. And, uh,
I would come downstairs and she she had her makeup right by her door and she used a full length mirror to do her makeup and her hair and check her clothes and all that. And uh I would go in, pick up her ear spun, blot my face, and then I was at school. But yeah, and probably my hair was usually not this high, but when, and like I said, it was all, it was long. It's down past my butt, and uh, flat to my head. But if I wanted to do something special, I would spray it, kind of like I did with this, with hairspray. Hold it out with a brush, spray it, blow dry it, spray it, blow dry it, top, and the you get, the front of my face would have, you know, a, a crown of hair around it. But if I looked from this side, it would be all flat. And I still do that. <laughs> okay, then... You would use the darkest lipstick you had. Okay. But I'm not done. Because this is not a very shiny lipstick. It's kind of on the matte side. So, you would take a shiny lipstick, or rather a lip gloss, and you would apply it. Mainly right in the middle of your lips. Like, make a heart, you know? You're going to come out? Yeah. Put a little... And that was it. This is my version of a, an 80s um, makeup. But I'm not happy with something. The blush isn't dark enough. We gotta do that. We gotta go darker on the blush, guys. There was a girl who not so long ago... I went off on on Facebook, but every time I saw her, she was putting more mascara on. It was horrible. It was really thick. And uh, we got into a Facebook fight. And then, and really, I wasn't even her friend in high school. Rather, I would have been her friend, but she wasn't mine. And all the other of her friends unfriended me on Facebook. And I'm like, you know, do they think they're hurting me? I, I, I didn't see these people for like 20 years. And then I'm on Facebook and they're all going, be my friend, be my friend. I'm like, really? So when it, they all unfriended me and they blocked me, you know, was that supposed to hurt my feelings? I don't know. But okay, here it is. Here's my look. How I did my hair and makeup in the 80s. This is really not my hair from the 80s. But I think it is kind of like hair from the 80s. Not mine. But yeah, this is my 80s face, guys. All right. Ah! Take care. I'm going to, you know, go wash my face and shampoo my hair. <laughs>